In mathematics, and more specifically in computer algebra, computational algebraic geometry, and computational commutative algebra, a Grobner basis is a particular kind of generating set of an ideal in a polynomial ring over a field k, x1, xn. A Grobner basis allows many important properties of the ideal and the associated algebraic variety to be deduced easily such as the dimension and the number of zeros when it is finite. Grobner basis computation is one of the main practical tools for solving systems of polynomial equations and computing the images of algebraic varieties under projections or rational maps. Grobner basis computation can be seen as a multivariate, nonlinear generalization of both Euclid's algorithm for computing polynomial greatest common divisors and Gaussian elimination for linear systems. Grobner bases were introduced in 1965, together with an algorithm to compute them, by Bruno Buckberger in his Ph.D. thesis. He named them after his advisor Wolfgang Grobner. In 2007, Buckberger received the Association for Computing Machinery's Paris Kanellakis Theory and Practice Award for this work. However, the Russian mathematician N. M. G. J. Unter had introduced a similar notion in 1913, published in various Russian mathematical journals. These papers were largely ignored by the mathematical community until their rediscovery in 1987 by Bodo Renshu Chayal. An analogous concept for local rings was developed independently by Heisky Hironaka in 1964, who named them standard bases. The theory of Grobner bases has been extended by many authors in various directions. It has been generalized to other structures such as polynomials over principal ideal rings or polynomial rings, and also some classes of non-commutative rings and algebras, like core algebras. Background Polynomial ring Grobner bases are primarily defined for ideals in a polynomial ring over a field K, although the theory works for any field. Most Grobner basis computations are done either when k is the field of rationals or the integers modulo a prime number. A polynomial is a sum where the are non-zero elements of k and the i are monomials or power products of the variables. This means that a monomial m is a product where the are non-negative integers. The vector is called the exponent vector of m. The notation is often abbreviated as Monomials are uniquely defined by their exponent vectors so computers can represent monomials efficiently as exponent vectors, and polynomials as lists of exponent vectors and their coefficients. If is a finite set of polynomials in a polynomial ring R, the ideal generated by F is the set of linear combinations of elements from F with coefficients in all of R. Monomial ordering all operations related to Grobner bases require the choice of a total order on the monomials, with the following properties of compatibility with multiplication. For all monomials M, N, P, a total order satisfying these conditions is sometimes called an admissible ordering. These conditions imply no ethereality, which means that every strictly decreasing sequence of monomials is finite. Although Grobner basis theory does not depend on a particular choice of an admissible monomial ordering, three monomial orderings are especially important for the applications. Lexicographical ordering, commonly called lex or plex. Total degree reverse lexicographical ordering, commonly called degrevlex. Elimination ordering, Lexdug. Grobner basis theory was initially introduced for the lexicographical ordering. It was soon realized that the Grobner basis for Degrevlix is almost always much easier to compute, and that it is almost always easier to compute a Lex Grobner basis by first computing the Degrevlix basis and then using a change of ordering algorithm. When elimination is needed, Degrevlix is not convenient, both Lex and Lexdeg may be used but, again, many computations are relatively easy with Lexdeg and almost impossible with Lex. Once a monomial ordering is fixed, the terms of a polynomial are naturally ordered by decreasing monomials. 
This makes the representation of a polynomial as an ordered list of pairs coefficient exponent vector a canonical representation of the polynomials. The first term of a polynomial p for this ordering and the corresponding monomial and coefficient are respectively called the leading term, leading monomial and leading coefficient and denoted, in this article, LT, LM and LC. Reduction The concept of reduction, also called multivariate division or normal form computation, is central to Grobner basis theory. It is a multivariate generalization of the Euclidean division of univariate polynomials. In this section we suppose a fixed monomial ordering, which will not be defined explicitly. Given two polynomials f and g, one says that f is reducible by g if some monomial m in f is a multiple of the leading monomial lm of g. If m happens to be the leading monomial of f then one says that f is lead reducible by g. If c is the coefficient of m in f and m equals qlm, the one-step reduction of f by g is the operation that associates to f the polynomial the main properties of this operation are that the resulting polynomial does not contain the monomial m and that the monomials greater than m remain unchanged. This operation is not, in general, uniquely defined. If several monomials in f are multiples of lm one may choose arbitrarily the one that is reduced. In practice, it is better to choose the greatest one for the monomial ordering because otherwise subsequent reductions could reintroduce the monomial that has just been removed. Given a finite set G of polynomials, one says that F is reducible or lead reducible by G if it is reducible or lead reducible, respectively, by an element of G. If it is the case, then one defines the reduction of f by g consists in applying iteratively this operator until getting a polynomial, which is irreducible by g. It is called normal form of f by g. In general this form is not uniquely defined. This non-uniqueness is the starting point of Grobner basis theory. For Grobner basis computations, except at the end, it is not necessary to do a complete reduction. A lead reduction is sufficient, which saves a large amount of computation. The definition of the reduction shows immediately that, if H is a normal form of F by G, then we have where the polynomials. In the case of univariate polynomials, if G is reduced to a single element G, then H is the remainder of the Euclidean division of F by G. QG is the quotient and the division algorithm is exactly the process of lead reduction. For this reason, some authors use the term multivariate division instead of reduction. Formal definition. A Grobner basis G of an ideal I in a polynomial ring R over a field is a generating set of I characterized by any one of the following properties. Stated relatively to some monomial order, the ideal given by the leading terms of polynomials in I is itself generated by the leading terms of the basis G. The leading term of any polynomial in I is divisible by the leading term of some polynomial in the basis G. The multivariate division of any polynomial in the polynomial ring R by G gives a unique remainder. The multivariate division by G of any polynomial in the ideal I gives the remainder zero. All these properties are equivalent. Different authors use different definitions depending on the topic they choose. The last two properties allow calculations in the factor ring R, I with the same facility as modular arithmetic. It is a significant fact of commutative algebra that Grobner bases always exist, and can be effectively obtained for any ideal starting with a generating subset. Multivariate division requires a monomial ordering, the basis depends on the monomial ordering chosen, and different orderings can give rise to radically different Grobner bases. Two of the most commonly used orderings are lexicographic ordering and degree reverse lexicographic order. Lexicographic order eliminates variables, however the resulting Grobner bases are often very large and expensive to compute. Degree reverse lexicographic order typically provides for the fastest Grobner basis computations. In this order monomials are compared first by total degree, 
with ties broken by taking the smallest monomial with respect to lexicographic ordering with the variables reversed. In most cases, Grobner bases exist for any monomial ordering. Buckberger's algorithm is the oldest and most well-known method for computing them. Other methods are the Fargas F4 and F5 algorithms, based on the same mathematics as the Buckberger algorithm, and involutive approaches, based on ideas from differential algebra. There are also three algorithms for converting a Grobner basis with respect to one monomial order to a Grobner basis with respect to a different monomial order. The FGLM algorithm, the Hilbert-driven algorithm and the Grobner-Walk algorithm. These algorithms are often employed to compute lexicographic Grobner bases from total degree Grobner bases. A Grobner basis is termed reduced if the leading coefficient of each element of the basis is 1 and no monomial in any element of the basis is in the ideal generated by the leading terms of the other elements of the basis. In the worst case, Computation of a Grobner basis may require time that is exponential or even doubly exponential in the number of solutions of the polynomial system. Despite these complexity bounds, both standard and reduced Grobner bases are often computable in practice, and most computer algebra systems contain routines to do so. The concept and algorithms of Grobner bases have been generalized to submodules of free modules over a polynomial ring. In fact, if L is a free module over a ring R, then one may consider RL as a ring by defining the product of two elements of L to be zero. This ring may be identified with where is a basis of L. This allows to identify a submodule of L generated by with the ideal of generated by and the products. If R is a polynomial ring, this reduces the theory and the algorithms of Grobner bases of modules to the theory and the algorithms of Grobner bases of ideals. The concept and algorithms of Grobner bases have also been generalized to ideals over various rings, commutative or not, like polynomial rings over a principal ideal ring or WEYL algebras. Example and counterexample. Let R equals Q, X, Y be the ring of bivariate polynomials with rational coefficients and consider the ideal I equals less than F, G greater than generated by the polynomials F equals X2, Y, G equals X3, X2. Other elements of I are the polynomials K equals X, F plus G equals X, Y, X, H equals X, K minus F equals Y2, Y and electric lexicographic ordering with x greater than y we have lt equals x2 lt equals x3 lt equals y2 the ideal generated by lt lt only contains polynomials that are divisible by x2 which excludes lt equals y2 it follows that f G is not a Grobner basis for I. On the other hand, we can show that F, K, H is indeed a Grobner basis for I. First note that F and G, and therefore also H, K and all the other polynomials in the ideal I have the following three zeros in the plane in common, as indicated in the figure. Those three points are not collinear, so I does not contain any polynomial of the first degree. Neither can I contain any polynomials of the special form m equals cx plus p with c a non-zero rational number and p a polynomial in the variable y only. The reason being that such an m can never have two distinct zeros with the same value for y and from the above it follows that I, apart from the zero polynomial, only contains polynomials whose leading term has degree greater than or equal to 2. Therefore their leading terms are divisible by at least one of the three monomials x2, xy, y2 equals lt, lt, lt. This means that f, k, h is a Grobner basis for i with respect to lexicographic ordering with x greater than y.